So we finally got around to ordering the batteries that we're going to use with this EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverter in the motorhome to run our mini split. It's that same exact mini split that we installed in the motorhome. And we decided to go with the Life Power 4 batteries. Um, these don't have a display on them, but I really don't need to see the display. Kind of like, you know, it is like a display like this where it shows you the um, voltage, the state of charge, whether it's charging or discharging and the current. <coughs> really didn't need all that stuff. So I wanted to go with the Life Power 4. And now I have the Life Power 4, the EG4LL, the version 1, and then the uh, EG4LL version 2. And I like all of them. <laughs> they work really well. And I can pair parallel all these together and they'll work great with one another. So the one thing that's nice about this is on here, on the display, you can connect um, a wire to the ports and on that it shows I'm a 200 amp hour battery and 100% state of charge. These are 100 amp hour batteries, 5120 volt, 100 amp hours, 5120 watt hours got two of these 100 amp hours in parallel that gives me that 200 amp hours so pretty easy to do they give you the green cable with the inverter and all you do is hook it up to the rs485 port down here doesn't matter which one there's two of them and then you connect it to either one of the rs485 ports over here they also give you this cable as well it's got that same uh connector to go in the rs485 port and it uh has a label on this of rj45 pin 1.2 and so you'll use that cable they also give you two other cables in it but you're going to use this one for this 3000 watt EG4 off-grid inverter. Now on this side, they have a different um, end on it that goes into the port up here. I don't know if I can, if I can zoom in on that or not. Okay, so it's RS45 port in there. And then all you have to do is go into the settings, which you press enter until the screen changes. Then once it changes, press the down button until you get to 05. And then you're gonna press the enter button. And then you just scroll through until you get to LI4, which is right there. Hit enter. And then once you do that, you can hit the escape button over here and then just hit the up button once and you're now seeing your amp hours and your percent state of charge. Pretty easy to do. Um, took like five minutes and uh, they had a really good deal on these going on and I'm, I'm an affiliate with them. So um, even though some of the products I've bought by myself and some of them I bought through the affiliate program, um, I put links in the description and, and if you, um, click on that link and you purchase something through that, they give us a small percentage of the sale on this channel and we are able to use that to be able to buy these products and test them out and share with you how easy they are, or how hard they are, what, whatever information we can give you on these products. So just wanted to share that with you and we appreciate it if you do purchase something through that link uh, and we will leave a link in the description for a lot of these products that we have in our videos so you can take a look at those and they do have grid sales going on from time to time and just check back like every other week because the sales they have a lot of sales going on anyways we've got this EG4 3000 watt inverter 
has up to 500 volt DC solar panel input and 5,000 watt solar panel input that it has 3,000 watt output. So really nice. I have this over here where it's 6,000 watts, but I can only hook up 6,000 watts. I'm never going to get 6,000 watts on this thing. I could never fully utilize this. But when this is a 3,000 watt output, but I can connect 5,000 watts, I'll get that 3,000 watts. So definitely worth it. Also, if I pair two of these together, I can get split phase. With just one, it's only 120 volt out. But with two of them, it's 120 to 40 split phase. So that's pretty nice. These things were only like $700 and they only weigh like 22 pounds. So they're not really hard to mount on the wall or anything. And uh, it's going to be a really nice fit in our motor home. So we're looking forward to installing this stuff in our motor home. We'll have those 12 grape solar panels that are 100 watt, a little over five amps each output. Then we'll have the inverter and the two batteries. So that should be more than enough to be able to run this during the day with the solar and at nighttime with just this battery bank. The other thing is we ran this last night. We had it charged up fully, 200 amp hours and 100% state of charge. And we ran it for 12 hours where it was on, but there was nothing plugged in. So there was no load on it. We just wanted to get the idle consumption. And it came out to 50... 50, 51 watts per hour. So it barely used anything. This over here, this grow out that just kicked on the fan, um, that's only one fan, that's pretty loud. These are a lot more quiet. But this uses like 150, 200 watts on idle consumption, just depending on how hot it is in the area that you installed it and um, how much you're using on this thing will make those fans, one or two fans, go on. Um, this is going to be right below where we're sleeping, so I'm kind of glad it's really not that loud. It's pretty quiet. Um, we uh, have on this wall, the other thing is, is we have five separate systems. This right here, this GrowWatt 12 kilowatt, is with this battery bank. That's one separate system. This 6 kilowatt GrowWatt, we don't have a battery bank connected to it right now. But that's a separate system. This system, we're, with the batteries and this inverter, we're testing out for the motorhome. This is actually just a charge controller, 80 amp charge controller. I'm sorry, 100 amp. And it's a 500 volt um, DC solar panel input. It's uh, really nice to charge up things. And then we have this system, which is with these batteries, so we have five separate systems on this wall. We don't normally wouldn't have all these wires, but we actually have five separate independent systems. And with that, we have this breaker panel for this 12 kilowatt. And for the six kilowatt, we have this breaker panel. So it's uh, a lot going on on the wall, but if we really needed to, we could just use this one grow watt inverter and we would be able to run everything um, that we want to run off grid with our house be able to run our pool heaters our pool pump our air conditioners everything refrigerators freezers everything that we have wired up to this now nothing we have is connected to the grid everything that um, we run off of this we actually had to run this conduit from the from the inverters right there into the panels and then from the panels out to an air conditioner or a mini split or whatever to a um, to a plug right here to where we can plug in these things. Um, so it's it's a lot going on on the wall, but understand that if you just wanted to do one system <laughs> this is all the room that I would take up with that 12 kilowatt plus this breaker panel would be able to sit right next to it so it's um 
I don't need all this, but I do have all of it. So I'm always constantly testing things out with it and testing new products, testing other solar panels, angle of the solar panels, how big the arrays are. I'm always constantly testing and seeing what's the best fit at the, that time of the year so I can get the best optimal performance out of the inverters and the solar panels and the battery bank. Anyways, I just wanted to do a video on those um, Life Power 4 batteries, how nice those paired up with that EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverter. Um, really easy to connect together, didn't take any time at all, and it really runs nice. I really like how quiet it is um, when it's running during the day with a load. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll put a link in the description down below for these products. And I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024.